The Turnpike is brought to you in part by our friends at Taco John's, where there's a whole lot of Mexican going on. Hi everybody, coming to you live from the winter of our discontent, actually, <laughs> the bourgeois pig with the men of Kofax, Rob, Ryan, Rob, Jared. You guys have been here for years in Lawrence, Kansas. You have just moved here. Yeah, so since November, early November. Let's talk a little bit about what keeps you guys in Lawrence, what brought you to Lawrence, what made you move from, from Ohio, and Jared, you're still in Ohio, is that right? Yeah, I'm kind of like an ambassador between the two. Like, I just <laughs> come in and take off. Okay, well, maybe we can win you over when you hear Rob and Ryan talk about what has kept them here <laughs> oh, we've already, so many years. We've already kind of sold them on the idea. Yeah. It's sold. I love Lawrence. He's got he's got a four kids back home. Mm -hmm. you know, he's four like, kids and go. A girlies to take care of. It's, I've lived here for six years. Yeah, what, five years? It's home, you know? Yeah. But I mean, before that, you weren't that far away. No, you were in Kansas City, so, you know. Yeah. What keeps it's, you in Kansas? You guys have certainly had opportunities, probably, you know, maybe L.A. Well, I actually, I lived in L.A. for a year, and I lived in New York for a while, and we've both obviously traveled consistently for the past eight years, but when it comes to home, I mean, this good, is it. Good to have a... First of all, a cheap place to live, and we've been lucky enough to like be able to escape a small town, you know? Like, we end up going to New York like four or five times a year. I don't really want to live there. <laughs> I've, been, I've been in Lawrence like probably a dozen times for maybe a week or so, or a few days, or just a night. Uh, either on touring or practicing here. And, uh, it's kind of like a home away from home. But we had these guys who were good friends that always sort of help us out if we needed practice space, or in this case, musicians. <laughs> People to, to fulfill, uh, uh, to do the record. This guy's been mooching off of us for years. This <laughs> <laughs> is a true story. Uh, ultimately, Lawrence to me is like, it, it's compact. I mean, a college town in a good way because it's not where we live in Ohio, it's 15 miles here, 15 miles there, and it's really to get to stuff that you don't even, even want to get to. There's nothing really that amazing here. We're here, everything is centralized, so you can just drive into town and have you know, a plethora of restaurants or bars. Or, live music's actually a lot better in this town than a lot of towns in the whole country. That's it's fact. pretty amazing. I mean, yeah, there's a great support system with I mean, something like this show. It's you know, a fact of that. Like, I can't believe there's this much... Uh, this many, yeah, this much coverage of like local music or, or just support within it. So it's really impressive and something to be quite proud of. This is about some chocolate women with some dirty habits. A little problem has arrived. Yeah, I have heard that you are someone's wife. Two kids at home full time. Which would be that I am. Yeah, that would be that I am the other man. Been a moral man. Where do you see this going? What do you think we're doing? I know it won't last. Can't say I give it the chance. Everyone says that it's wrong. We never did slow down to think about this adultery.
Stick around for more Kofax on the Turnpike while you still have the right to do that.